This question from the new specification Edexcel Maths asks us to do a negative number to a power of 3. So this is minus 2 to the power of 3. Another way of saying that is minus 2 cubed. Now what a lot of students think is that that means minus 2 times 3. But this is wrong, so I'm going to put it in red. That little number does not mean times by 3. Let's do it in green for the correct answer. It means times by itself, so times by minus 2, three times. So, so far, once, twice, three times. So you should see the number three times in your calculation. Minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. Let's work that out. So f first things first, let's do minus 2 times minus 2. Well, 2 times 2, let's do the numbers first, is 4. And now you just need to remember one thing. A minus times a minus is a plus. So that's plus 4, positive 4. Now we do the next times by minus 2. So this answer, times by minus 2. The numbers first. So 4 times 2 is 8. A positive times a negative. Well, any time the signs are different, we know the answer will be negative. So that would be negative 8. So the answer here is negative 8. Let's do another example, but this time with squared. Okay, so what about minus 3 squared? First thing to let you know is that you wouldn't type it like that into a calculator. That's what many students do, and they get the wrong answer. They get the answer minus 9. And they say to me, oh, but sir, that's what the calculator said. Unfortunately, you've typed it in wrong. So what you need to do is put brackets around that answer the minus 3, and then your answer will come out correctly. Okay, so let's work it out ourselves though without a calculator. So minus 3 squared does not mean times by 2, does it? What does it mean? It means times by itself. So we've got minus 3 times minus 3, and notice there are two minus 3s multiplied, because there's a 2 here it's squared. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9. Notice how I do the numbers first. A minus times a minus is a plus. So that's plus 9. Okay, let's do one last one. What about, let's do a hard one, minus 4 to the power of 4. Okay, hopefully you know by now that means you can write out the number four times because there's a little 4 up here and we have a times in between. Okay, so let's work out the first step. 4 times 4 is 16. A minus times a minus is a plus. Let's do the next step. 16 times 4 is 64. And a plus times a minus is a minus. Finally, minus 64 times minus 4. Well, let's use my box, actually. So we're going to do 64 times 4. This will just demonstrate how to do long multiplication. OK, so 6 times 4, you do the first digits. 24 add on 1 0 4 times 4 16 adding these two answers together you get 256 and finally a minus times a minus is of course a plus so the final answer is positive 256 for minus 4 to the power of 4